Hello guys, this is our inventory management application. The application provides a tool for business owners to manage their inventory. You can enter items, their quantity, and their price. You can retrieve items, you can update and delete them. The application performs some operation and returns results which are then displayed to the user. As far as technology goes, for the front end, I use React.js. I created the app using Create React app. I use React hooks and Context API for state management. With that, I easily passed data down the component tree and shared states between functional components. I created Context Provider, which holds the uh, global states. I use Use Reducer hook to implement Reducer into our context. Now, the way he, uh, Reducer works is it sets one function to contain all of our application logic or method. Then it interacts with the states and changes the data. The reducer function takes two parameters, the state and the action. The action is an object uh, which, accept, which can accept um, a type property, which describes the type of change we want to make inside the reducer function. We send that action object to the reducer using dispatch method. The action can also take a second property, which is the payload. In our case, it is, it is an item we want to add or update, or the ID of an item that we want to delete. When the reducer function executes, it checks the action object, and based on the type of action, it runs different logic, such as update item, or add an item, or delete an item. It then updates the state object, and once we uh, update the state, we return that state, and that goes back into the provider value. Then the context provider provides those data to the children components. The children component then consume those data with use context. With React hooks, I also use the use effect method, which is very similar to component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount in React lifecycle method. Now, in this project, I included um, React router dump package to use the router tag for navigation and use history method to redirect user after logging in and redirect user after updating an item. I also included the React Bootstrap package to use the nav um, tag, the table, and the alert tag. I included the React Icons package to use the Bootstrap Pencil and the Bootstrap Trash tag. I included uh, the Node SAS package as well to use the SAS variables and mixins in our Starship components. Uh, now lastly, for the front end, I also included Axios library to make HTTP requests like get, post, and uh, put to the backend. And for the backend language, I'm glad you asked. I use Node.js and the Express framework. I use MongoDB and Mongoose for the database. I set up the backend API and routes with Express and Express Router method. I created a user and item models using Mongoose schema and model methods. And the database points out to the MongoDB Atlas where the application data is stored. Finally, I used JWT, JSON Web Tokens, for user authentication.